Okay, so the purpose of this call is preparing us all to this uh, April 16th deadline and preparing the submission. We just had a call with Task Geo team and basically got a download of all the things that they were working on and how to integrate it into uh, specifically other teams, also included the risk factors team. And just to give you the context, what we discussed um, were two things, potential integration of the age-related data, population density, and a number of cases as a um, basically additional piece to age-related risk factors. And as the second piece, uh, the environmental climate data. So humidity and temperature and other time series data. So that's what we agreed from their perspective, but we would also like to hear what you think uh, is potential uh, area for integration. That's one point to discuss today. The second point is just uh, get a download from you in terms of how this final structure of the notebook looks like from your perspective. Okay, so today uh, how, uh, we kind of push uh, the final submission and things together. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Israeli time, I have call with Daniel anyway, because we are working very closely with him anyways. So I sent him today pollution data, what we extracted, the articles, like the top seven articles that are the best. He has to review that. So we will kind of, you know, find the common denominator uh, to collect uh, our data, his data, and put things together. I probably also will need Janus to participate into that conversation because while I'm like running after people collecting materials and everything, Yasa, he uh, more like works on uh, uh, pulling code together and making sure the code, that code works in a Kaggle notebook. Uh, and from our perspective, it's going to be uh, uh, structured in the following way. It should be background, very short description. It should be methodology, because we have quite a methodology. And it's important to mention what we've done. Uh, it, it should be advantages of the method and disadvantages of the method. Then, then some kind of uh, visuals and common overviews with beautiful charts and things like that. Like just some, you know, nice coglish uh, visual representation and uh, in a math uh, in a uh, background section we will already uh, notice all the risk factors we focused on and why and then it will be risk factor let's say number one assume it is uh, environmental it is uh, pollution population density and humidity uh, then like we will present top articles and some kind of a easy a annotation and link, okay? And then we can present uh, some uh, correlations and charts from Daniel's findings, and then jump to the next topic, etc. All right. Does it make sense? I think so. Is there, what was that visualization that you mentioned? I, I couldn't find it. Uh, yes, because Mohammed didn't, uh, share it with everybody and he's working now uh, on kind of analyzing things. Hmm. Do you but, have a or image? But I kind of shared, uh, I kind of saved it. I can uh, share your screens. It okay. looks very, very beautiful. Uh, give me please uh, one second. I will try to, uh, gosh, I have so many conversations. In, here we are. Second, I can share my phone screen. I'm curious. Can I in Zoom? Uh, good question. You can just send an image to our chat. The screenshot. Okay, I will. I will save uh, the images. There are a few. Save image. Save image. Save image. So, um, so they will go to more chat. Here we are. Does it give, does it give uh, an 
I don't see here picture attachment whatsoever. Uh, on the phone in Slack. Yeah, uh, not not on Slack. Okay, I will send it in yeah, Slack. Slack. You know what? Yeah, I've seen there is a chart. So here here we go. This is kind of most common uh, most common words in the whole test. This is most common words. Uh, nice. Uh, that are related to uh, 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 risk factor smoking. And here is some, one second, it's, it's still sending. Okay. Yeah. Nice, yeah, definitely Kaglish. So that's great. Uh, do, do you see them? Because I see that they're still sending. Yeah, I see them. All three. Ah, oh, wow, really? Yeah, might be Slack lag. So mm -hmm. these are um, basically, the first one is... General, second mm -hmm. why smoke, risk factor smoke related, we will uh, scale that one for all. Mm -hmm. Nice, it's, so it's each kind of risk factor group will have such image, right? Yeah, it's bullshit. Nice. Yeah. Like it, it, it tells absolutely packaging. nothing. It's it's bullshit. Okay, it's 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 no use, no sense, no nothing. But no, I, I actually think that there is potential use to it because for for people that will open this and look at this that have no idea what we're going on, they will see like okay, like some keywords uh, are you know bigger, make more um, like are more represented, and there is like. A, Smoking and chronic obstructive pulmonary. Wow, what a finding! Like, <laughs> yeah, it, the value is not finding, but showing people that this exists so they can dive deeper. That's definitely value. And the third image is what uh, terms for topic? Oh, so this will be for each topic, too, right? Yeah, I hope so. Hmm. Um, and this is kind of you can uh, you can uh, let me share the screen so press different, different ground like it's kind of yeah uh, when you select the topic then there are it seems distance between words and that's its visualization for that which is also pretty much pointless but it's the only thing why sorry but that's what it is but the only thing I, uh, the only reason I actually want to integrate it is because it's beautiful. Yeah, and quick question, what are the numbers on the circles? Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, it's a uh, kind of topic, topic number, I believe, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I, should, uh, I should work with him to kind of, you know, but uh -oh, I think it's I a number. It. Yeah, so basically for different risk factors, there's going to be different topic and this yeah, is going to be yeah. yeah, okay, that's great. And this one, yeah, I'm just going to show it for the purposes of video recording. And this one. Okay, well, cool stuff. I mean, definitely something that we'll be able to package into the notebook. Um, it's kind of... It's kind of something that will make the notebook uh, looks great in mm -hmm. the first place. Uh, in order to, it's amazing to have that, but in order to make it useful, okay, really useful, like really kind of insightful, it should be much more work behind and we just don't have time for that. Of course. And, and like, the fact itself that Mohammed did that, it's amazing and thank him very much. We will obviously, uh, I will try to get a notebook and we will try, he's trying to upload it to collab at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we will share it with everyone and each and every output will go kind of through this uh, story. Sounds great. Is there anything that you think is missing from the cross team kind of pollination and cooperation? Or you're good with Geo team, you have a call with Daniel, and you should be good. I think that we kind of depend a little bit on uh, Lucas and Brandon. 
in terms of uh, similarity search. But it looks like we will not be capable to produce that. We don't stay on the timeline. Properly. Okay, so you mean just having a more robust uh, querying engine in terms of NLP, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's fine. I think we, we shouldn't aim at, at that for the first submission, definitely. So I think that the first submission, most likely, instead of being like uh, kind of, let's say, almost real thing, when you search for something and you get something and it's really automatically selected as relevant, it will be kind of, uh, you know, top papers, manually checked by Alenik MD and probably Randall, approved annotated and that's it mm -hmm. like it won't be it won't be 100 percent like a male thing it will be kind of a combination of a human input and uh yep. nlp techniques plus uh, some cool visualizations and augmenting with the geo team data that's a nice yeah. candy on top they're, of it yeah their data might, might look very very good and might complement a lot what we have so far uh, now i don't really understand like as i understand daniel has to have his own submission as well right no and okay so here's the quick update we realized that there is no task that is how geography affects reality that was uh, an organic either mistake or they changed the list of questions after the first couple of days so essentially they are uh, a horizontal team similar to NLP or data sets teams that is basically working on uh, producing valuable pieces for three teams. So for you, they'll produce a piece that you'll integrate into, um, into your notebook. Oh my God. How, and when did you realize that? <laughs> Yesterday, but they oh, wow. understood that way before they seem to be like uh, in touch with that for like two weeks now. So that is great. I, I just didn't know. Uh, they knew it? They knew it. And they were working on being the infrastructure guys. Ah, without kind of letting other people know. Because I was sure that they have their open submission and that's why I didn't bother them. Because I wanted to give them time to do their open thing and I'm kind of secondary thing. That was a miscommunication, but I think it actually played to our advantage because they were focused on building the infrastructure and basically all the core pieces that we wouldn't be able to help them, uh, like given our understanding of, of that. So it's, it's great. Like it, the outcome is great. Let's just figure out how to integrate it. Okay. All right. So yeah. at, the moment, at the moment, we don't have nothing final. Everything still is in work. Everything still requires yeah. a lot of work. In a worst case scenario, if we, if we have nothing at the last moment, we will some kind of, you know, uh, pull things together, do what we can, do our yeah. best, and let's see what happens. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. Thank you.